I've been a police officer for 15 and a half years. We're always working outside and in nature, which obviously carries its own inherent risks. We work under the water, work on top of the water, we work at heights and we work in confined spaces. So each scenario carries its own set of risks, which are minimised uh, with equipment and training that we do. For well, this side here we have our compressors, uh, which we fill the cylinders with. So we do that on a daily basis. Uh, and then we put all our cylinders in the, in the van, which are ready for a call out if needed. Down here are our cylinders, this is our main gas, it's what we dive off. Uh, we've got a mixture of ways of doing it, set the supply, still bread. Then when you fill up onto this side, this is all our kit that we use for a uh, daily, daily dive. Um, on the top there you've got lifting bags, which we'll use quite, quite regularly for lifting big items out of the water, such as cars or safes. Uh, but one of our vehicles that's just parked here, that's our changing vehicle, so we'll take that to every deployment that we do and we'll get changed into our kit so we can dive. Moving further around, this is one of our boats, this is a six metre rib and uh, it's used mainly for rivers and the uh, for the Humber in particular. People um, that have to fall off, jump off down the bridge. Just a bit further on, there's more of our specialist equipment. We have our ROV, which is packed away at the minute, but that's an underwater submersible. So they're all ready to go if needed. We don't have a lot of visibility underwater. Sometimes we have no visibility and it's pitch black. And that just depends what area we're working in. can be fairly dangerous at times. You're reliant on other people and they're reliant on you. So it's a case of everyone's got to get along. Everyone's got to trust each other and trusting each other's abilities really because they're looking after you ultimately. If you're under the water 30 meters, you're doing your little bit, but there's, there'll be five, six people on the surface all looking after your welfare, making, your, making sure you're safe and making sure that you're still breathing when you come up. If you can stay to maybe the right of my line, the, um, the ROV line, that would be good. Just got to go around it. Really. Oh, I'll be sorry, mate. Oh, you do what you need to do then, yeah. You've recovered the shotgun, uh, you're in the process of, and uh, you've found it, all understood. That's understood, following like flying back. Okay, he's found the shotgun, Rog, he's recovered it, and he's on his way back. Yeah, 
start off learn, just learning it's sad, about a metre under the platform. Well done, uh, it wasn't buried. We're on call, 365 days a year. It's a small team, so there's only 10 of us, so if a job does come in, it usually requires at least half the team to be available and come out, so that has an impact on your, on your personal life. Obviously, the nature of the job, dealing with bodies, um, dealing with grieving families, um, that will have an effect on you, but ultimately, you have to deal with it if you're going to be in the police for 30 odd years.